Hi everyone and hello to all the pageant fans all over the world, the universe rather, and to my new subscribers and returning viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're watching this episode right now and you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Help me to grow this channel and to reach a milestone here on YouTube simply by clicking the subscribe button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So for today's episode here in my channel, I decided to do a pageant review about the good and the bad and the controversies in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. For most, if you're not new in this channel, you knew for a fact how bluntly honest I am. You know, when it comes to their overall production, how I'm really impressed about Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Now let me run down some good things about Miss Universe Philippines under its first ever franchise. First will definitely be the overall pageant format. Second is the crown. The Filipina crown, although it's not really an iconic for me, it's still a good job for this organization to come up with, you know, a crown that is worth 5 million pesos. Third will definitely be the sash that says Miss Universe Philippines. Fourth will definitely be the Miss Universe treatment for the winner. I just want to share with you guys that based on the article that I read from Philippine Star, the cash prize is around 1.6 million, plus she will have her personal stylist and glam team. Plus the winner will also live in a condo unit, plus of course a brand new car. Fifth, I'm happy to see that the runners up are actually with the reigning queen doing some charity works and some guesting. Overall, for me, it was a successful first ever Miss Universe Philippines under its new franchise. Now, what are the not so good things about Miss Universe Philippines? Or what are the things that I don't really appreciate about Miss Universe Philippines 2020? First will definitely be the preliminary competition. I don't know if it's just me or you guys because it's really different, you know, when you are watching a preliminary competition or a competition that is actually live. I understand that they need to follow health protocols but I don't see any problem doing uh, or showing it live because it's just like the same thing. I mean you take that episode but if you can actually do it live, must exciting and must engaging show for me. Second will definitely be the filmed Coronation Day of Miss Universe Philippines 2020. We are all very excited to witness it live in our television or maybe some of you um, subscribe to Ring Light series or even at ktx.ph so that you have that opportunity to witness it live. But then again, we are all shocked because they already shoot the Coronation Day two days before the set date of the coronation. So that is something that I was really disappointed with the Miss Universe organization because we are all expecting to see it live or to witness it live. However, nakaroon na pala ng coronation day two days ahead or two days before the press release coronation day of Miss Universe Philippines. So there is something that, you know, I was really disappointed because it's not what they told us in the first place. Now let's talk about the controversies in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. And yes, I am pertaining to Sandra Lemonon's cryptic IG stories. Right before they aired the coronation day of Miss Universe Philippines at GMA 7, usap-usapan na yung mga stories ni Sandra Lemonon. Like, she mentioned about speaking up facts and they deserve justice. At nagkasagot ng pasilya ni Shamsi Subsook through IG stories. So I've waited for a couple of days before I filmed this episode because I'm waiting for her statement. I'm waiting for what she's fighting for para mas maging konkreto yung, yung episode na to. But as of this time, as I check her Instagram uh, account, I don't see any updates from her. So I decided to share my assumptions about her cryptic IG story. Let's start with my first assumption. First, if she's referring or pertaining to Rabia Mateo bringing her own glam team in the competition, if it's not allowed, Sana right from the very start, you already approached the organization about this matter. 
let me also share with you guys a fun fact about Genesis Davilia, who was actually crowned as Miss Florida USA in 2017, but she was dethroned because she was accused of unfair competitive um, advantage for bringing her own glam team in the competition. If Miss Universe Philippines is as strict as Miss Florida USA that has a zero tolerance policy or rules regarding this matter, I have to say that Sandra's claim is actually valid. But I find it so mababa creating a fuzz out of it right after the coronation of Rabia Mateo. Because for me, if you will ask me, if right from the very start, you already noticed that there is something wrong that is happening. There's actually an unfair treatment amongst all the contestants in Miss Universe Philippines. Sana, you already approached the organization about their wrongdoings. Because for me, parang kinolerate mo pa sila by not speaking up right from that moment. And for me, parang naging accessory ka pa sa crime because you tolerated the wrongdoings of these people. These are all assumptions. And I don't have any idea about what really happened, what is the reason why she's acting this way, what are the things that she's fighting for. But I have a message for you. If you don't have the courage yet to speak up, you have to control yourself from posting on your social media accounts because it creates controversies. And as you all know, Filipinos are very into controversies. We love chismes. I'm so sorry guys, na lowbat ang aking camera. Now let's talk about Michelle Gumabao. Let's watch this video. Siguro ito na rin yung tamang chance para i-clear natin bakit wala ka daw dun sa awarding. Um, alam po ng organization kung bakit ako umalis. I uh, messaged everyone, I messaged uh, Mama Jonas Gafford, mm -hmm. um, the reasons why I left, mm -hmm. and uh, he said okay, so I'm just really surprised that there was no statement, that mm -hmm. there was no um, message from the organization as to my departure, mm -hmm. but you know, um, with social media, I'm used to it, I'm used to all the comments, so mm -hmm. hindi naman po sa akin uh, nakakasama yun. Yun lang po talaga, nagulat lang ako na walang sinabi mm -hmm. um, from the organization why I left. Although, I will be issuing my statement mm -hmm. um, as to why and my reasons why and I hope it clears up a little bit sa lahat ng mga, sa lahat ng mga issues ng mga tao. Siyempre, kung walang magpapa, magtatanggol sa'yo, kailangan pagtagunan sa rin. Mm -hmm. So, bakit nga ba? What is the reason? If we may ask, since nandito na rin lang naman kami lahat. Um, if you're ready. I will be issuing my so let's start my assumption about Michelle Gumabao. So after um, the coronation night, um, that Sunday, the next day after that will be the viewing party and Michelle Gumabao was not there. So then it started with mga chismes na she's not happy with her placement and may nabasa pa ako that she will resign as you know second runner-up. Uh, what I'm saying is that, bakit mo kailangan umalis ng Baguio Country Club? I mean, you knew, for a, you knew for a fact na as part of your journey in Miss Universe Philippines, kasama yan sa itinerary nyo, na, you know, you guys will stay there up until, you know, the end of the competition. I'm thinking that maybe the reason why, you know, she left that early is because she cannot fake, you know, um, her emotions. She cannot fake her feelings, you know. Kasi maraming mag-interview sa kanya. And maybe she's not really happy with the result. So she decided to left Baguio City. And based doon sa, sa post ni Marco Gumabao, he mentioned about, you know, now it's the time not to be bitter about it. So I'm thinking that as a family, maybe nakausap, nakakwentuhan na sila, and maybe Michelle Gumabao was not really happy with her placement. So if you're following Michelle Gumabo on her social media account, you knew for a fact how she's really active, especially on Instagram. And based on what I checked a while ago, her last post was six days ago. So I guess that, you know, she's not really in good shape right now. Or I have to say that maybe she's not 100% okay. Now, I was surprised when I actually saw her you know, with the uh, charity event or the charity work na ginawa nila in Manila. But I did not see her suggesting nila sa Wow Wow Win. I am not really so sure what really happened, but I cannot, 
you know, I cannot blame Michelle Gumabao if she felt that way. Maybe she expected, you know, so much. She, ex she expected too much. She expected that she will win Miss Universe Philippines 2020. It's really hard. Siguro defeat is actually the hardest, um, you know, thing that we have to accept in life. Ang hirap maging talunan, to be honest with you guys. And I'm sure that you guys already experienced that in the past. Whether sa classroom, sa work, you know. Masakit ang gabi ng pagkatalo. But then again, um, I hope that she will find peace. I hope that she will find, you know, uh, the real essence of, you know, joining a beauty pageant. It's not just about winning. But it's actually gaining, you know, friends, not just that, discovering yourself more on what you can, you know, do better, that you can actually be the best version of yourself. Masakit sa umpisa, syempre, mahirap tanggapin pag naging talunan ka. But then again, you don't have any choice. Ang lagi kong sinasabi, if you're on the bottom part, there's no way for you but to go up. Sad to say, but yeah, I mean, maybe we just have to wait for... Her official statement, because sabi naman niya sa video na napanood natin, she will issue an official statement. But then again, um, I can feel na something is actually not right. Especially, um, you know, her statement that she was surprised that, you know, wala malang um, statement from the organization. As a pageant fan, you know, we're just here to to watch out what's hap what's gonna happen next. So ayun, um, waiting, waiting tayo. And I'm sorry if, you know, I filmed this episode just like this kasi wala nang um, memory yung card ko using my vlogging cam. So I just used my phone. And I'm really, really sorry for this um, magulo or magalaw na nakuha ng picture. Um, I checked the time a while ago. It's around 8.30ish. My shift starts at 10 p.m. I just wanna, you know, uh, do this episode for you guys just to have some catch up. And I just wanna say thank you so much, guys, for your love and for your support. I really, really appreciate every one of you. I love uh, you all. Stay kind because you can never go wrong with kindness.